Welcome back to Fun Fiero. I'm Andy. I'm Liz. We are here today at the Colorado Mills Mall here in Lakewood, Colorado, and we are going to the Rods and Bods Movie Car Museum. They've got movie cars, they've got unique movie memorabilia, they've got custom hot rods. I cannot wait to see. They have 60 cars and they rotate out with a stock of like 100. So it can be different every time you come. So with all that being said, let's go have some fun and see what this place is all about. Yeah, and we're gonna meet up with the wonderful Walter Walter and check out Fox Lunch. Let's go. Oh, oh, oh. So we just found the first display for the Rods and Bods Movie Car Museum. And look guys, Mickey is everywhere. He's over in the corner. They've got Coca-Cola Mickey. And look at that. It's a 50th anniversary 18 wheeler. Love it. Look at man, they've got all this space, 60 cars, $12 a person. If you have a group of five, it's only going to be $10 or more. But kids under three, military, first responders, EMTs, all those guys get in for free. I suddenly want to go to Universal, Jurassic World. Look at my new best friend. We are here with wonderful Walter Walter. So uh, definitely, if you haven't already, go check out their channel. Super fun. I Colorado family. Walter. That is Walter right there. <laughs> We've got Irene and Mark as well. Yeah. So we're going to explore this whole thing together. So and cool looking already. It is really neat with the Jurassic car. That was pretty cool. So we're going to see all sorts of stuff that is like from movies that we love, stuff that we've never even seen before, and stuff that they're just total one-offs. So I can't wait to really kind of di dive deeper into this. Fun fact, and there are all of these facts right here about all of the vehicles that, are, that, that you're seeing. And this is a replica van built after the famous uh, Dumb and Dumber movie. And this is actually a 1999 Chevy Express with a V8 motor. Anyways, it's the Shaggin' Wagon, right? Mutt cuts, love this. And other fun fact is that during the filming of the movie, there were two vans. One was an Ecoline, or Econoline rather, and the other one was a Chevy van. Uh, that was actually, the Chevy van was never used in the movie. Look at this truck over here, guys. Rods and bods and it's like super lowered. That is so fun. That is so cool. But over here, check this out. This is, look at, you got Chevy Chase back there. This is a truckster replica. But the tissue box inside is the original tissue box used by Aunt Edna in wow. National Lampoon's Vacation. All right, that's Speaking super cool. Aunt Edna, do we know where she is? So this is a bit of an older model car. Um, actually, it's from the Flintstones. <laughs> Look at this one. Oh my gosh. The Latin's magic carpet. He's just boogieing down. Tesla transmission genie created. Carpet has never been one of the first computer animated characters in a feature film. And now we're cruising over here to Radiator Springs. Uh, Sarge, check him out. He's a Willis military jeep, proudly served in World War II and received the grill badge of true metal for towing a tank to safety in the Battle of the Bulge. He now lives in Radiator Springs and runs Sarge's Surplus Hut, where he sells military surplus in his own Mother Road Survival Kit. Oh, my stinking goodness! Look at he's this bad boy. Oh, he is looking so good. Oh, yeah, he's awesome. Wow. How fun. Oh, wow, every detail. That, I mean, that is a, that is a real race car, guys. Look at, I don't know if you can, like, see in there. Wow. Look at the top there, you got the medal, or the trophy, I love it. Yeah. So we got McQueen and Mater together again. I didn't realize that, but Tim, Tim Mater is the only character to have crooked teeth in the movie. Here is definitely where it's just the name Rods. I mean, like, look at this. I mean, all of these super duper looking, just old, souped up, really neat hot rods. American Gangster, 35 Wow. Look at that windshield. That's See how it lifts blue. up? <laughs> Look, it's Kit from Knight Rider. I can literally just hear the Knight Rider music in my mind right now. Picturing this, like actually just driving up onto the semi. So flashback to 2007. This is what Sam Witwicky first laid eyes on. The ball and the air freshener. Do you see this? It's a Dr. Pepper little race car. I just want to get in and drive. You can't get in these. So there's not a whole lot of rules here, guys. But if you see the stanchions, you have to stay behind the stanchions. You're supposed to stay on the tile. Staying on the tile. It's pristine. 24 vehicles were used in Tony during the filming of this movie. If you're familiar with the show Supernatural, this is the 1966-67 Chevy Impala that was actually used in the show. 
and man, that is one good looking car. Wayne's World, Wayne's World. Wow, that is so funny. Six AMC Pacer. I love the, the dice and the hat and the queen tape. Yes, look at the, oh my gosh, look at the queen tape. Oh, so fun. We can find Disney anywhere. Look at Herbie, the love bug. When it debuted, it was the second transversing Disney film ever. In number 53, Came the Dodgers John Driscoll. This is an Auburn Boat Tail Speedster. It's a customer favorite for wedding rooms. Can't you just see Corella DeVille hanging out in this car? I can. I love gold and I need three million dollars. This is way too cool right here. Look at the Pizza Planet hat, the Pizza Planet box, the truck. It's our favorites up there. I wonder if on the back. Oh my goodness, guys. Check it out. Oh yeah, there they are, Buzz and Woody. Oh, guys, zoinks. Mystery machine, yes. Look at all the shack carpeting. Oh my goodness. Look at the speakers in there though that somebody's put in there. Like, obviously very good sound quality in there. This is the first Harley, the first civilian Harley Davidson produced in 1942. And after World War II, it was brought back to the States in 2005. Oh guys, so this is actually a Volkswagen Beetle, but this was used in a Beastie Boys video. All it's a the surf wagon. Custom built in California. So this here is actually the winner of the Denver Auto Show in 2019. It was actually saved from a field in Louisiana. You can tell it was definitely in the south with all the rust on there from the humidity. Check out the bed of this. Very creative. I like this a lot. And it's super lowered too. I'm like, woo, that's low. At the uh backwards opening doors. I don't know the exact verbiage for that, but there you go. And check out that Batty Caddy. It's a spin-off the 1966 Batmobile. And then check this out. There's like, they got the Bat bike. Adam West and Burt Ward never drove the motorcycle. It was always their stunt double. And that is a Yamaha Catalina 250. 250cc motor, manual transmission. And the Robin Sidecar. Robin Sidecar. I'm Batman. This is so cool. This is just, I mean, I, can, I can't even get the whole thing in the frame. They call it the big black car. It's the first and only diesel powered one in the world. This vehicle was FedEx to Dubai for Stanley Comic Con. It has a spinning Gatlin guns. They really spin. But it's something strange in your neighborhood. This is one of four vehicles used in the 2016 Ghostbuster movie. It was uh, utilized as a lift in New York City for promotional purposes. I love that is really cool. Slimer, he's like hanging out up there. It really is super fun in here. The fact that all of these cars that, I mean, you, you see them in movies, you see them go by super fast. A lot of these are replicas, but the fact that they have them here and you can really kind of stop, look at them, get up close and have some fun learning all about them instead of just seeing them in a passing scene that go by super fast. I like that. This is the bomb topper. Check this out. It's an airplane inspired build. And they made it to help raise money for veterans. So three bombs, six grenades, and some 50 cal bars are just some of the cool things you can find on this build. I have no idea why this is here or who those little guys are. Have you ever seen like little, I don't know. Rats, mice? Yeah, like they like, look like they're made out of steel of some sort. Look at this. This is the Night of the Hunter. This is the oldest movie car. This film aired in 1955. It still has the original crank handle to start up the vehicle. And check out those wooden spokes for its wheels. This is the Italian Job Mini Cooper. So the Italian Job Minis, like, aren't they so cute? There were three of these guys. I love how it's red, white, and blue. Um, and, but despite the like, like, kind of boosted in fame for the movie, the director had to go out and find three Minis because many didn't want to use any vehicles for the movie. And almost every other vehicle you see in that movie was actually provided by Fiat. And you're only supposed to blow the bloody doors off was voted the most memorable line in any movie. Oh my gosh, guys. It is the DeLorean from Back to the Future. That's the real flux capacitor right there. I have a horrible urge to touch this car and you can walk away. Save the clock tower. Look at all of the pamphlets on the dash. We were actually able to get in here uh, I think the owner actually just led us back uh, behind the stanchions and look at this. I love it. 2020, 1985, 2028. Look Alarm at the clock. California license up here. Oh. And the Save the Clock Tower. Look at this. And the sports book. Oh, wow. Yes. And then the doors. This is so cool. And look, you got all, I mean, they, every attention to detail, the dial pad there, all of the instruments from Doc. And we're ready to go. Check it out. We've got our hook, 
for the lightning rod. How many gigawatts? Yeah, I can't remember how many gigawatts. Let us know in the comments, guys, how many gigawatts I'm was it? Failure right now. <laughs> this is so fun. Is so all the lighting all around it. Like it looks like it just got hit by a light. Like they just. It does. Oh, it got the boost. Oh, that's so cool. <gasps> Who didn't want that truck when they first saw the movie? Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I Biff. The DeLorean too. Putting the third coat of wax on. I mean, sorry, just got done with the first. Sorry. <laughs> that is fun. Oh, and the speed, the land, the land speed racer. <laughs> and R2D2. Disney is everywhere. Um, I was just telling Liz, I'm still smiling ear to ear. I never thought, did you? No, so we never thought so in a million special. years that we'd be able to like actually Beyond take a look inside. I wanted to touch it so bad. Just like when like follow Mickey's feet and hug him, but I didn't touch it. Like this was really neat. But so it was such an honor to be able to go back there. Yep. Oh man. He was actually working on the car. And yeah, so he's, he's like, just like, hey, let me plug and... plug a couple things in so you guys can really Super have the experience. Cool. He's like, and you can come around and look inside and um, told wow. him that we were filming for YouTube. So I hope you guys get a chance to come check this out if yeah, you're if ever... ever in Lakewood, Colorado. Yep. Rods and bods, come on down. Look at all of the fast and furious cars up through here. Look at the matte finish on this black one. Oh my gosh. That movie brings back so many cool memories. Here is Stuart Little's car. Well, actually, there's Stuart Little's car. This trolley is the sole surviving 33 twin coach. It served as a trolley in New York City from 1934 to 1954. That's awesome. Look at this Piper Tomahawk. It, this custom car started life as an airplane in 1978. That propeller spins as you drive. It still has the original hand throttle from the plane in there. The big Batmobile. Now this vehicle was used by Colorado Batman for charity work throughout Colorado. And it was inspired by the, like, the toy car you can see down there on the floor. And I just love Lego Batman. Now I love all the antiques, man. The signs, they're original. But this, wish I were an Oscar Mayer wiener. I love the Wiener Mobile. Once again, I really want to get in and go for a ride. One of the other neat things, guys, is when you come here, they do have a gift shop at the end. So if you want some tanks or hoodies, and then they also have all of these cool license plates from different movies, so you can actually see what it's from. So like Miami Vice, and it's from the Ferrari here, and Zach 178 Dade. That's pretty neat. So as we were leaving, we got this cute little magnet to put on our fridge, and they gave us awesome Rods and Bod stickers. Here, let's see the magnet again. Do, 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 do. Nice. Yeah, you guys have got to come visit. If you're in Lakewood, Colorado, we had so much fun. It was a blast. What are you doing? It's on sale. <laughs> the scariest words in the English language. Oh, look at all the Marvel stuff they got Stark Industries. Like an Iron Man kind of like cartoon style comic strip. <laughs> look at that. So the Hawkeye Trust a Bro. I think it's, yeah, Trust a Bro. Look at this. Lounge fly alert. It's like Funko Pop villains. Oh, wow, they have a Liz is in her natural environment. I am. And we've been seeing lounge fly all over the mall. <sighs> These are my people. <laughs> This is kind of neat. You got all the princesses right here on the shirt. Full color, nice. <laughs> we got stuff at Box Lunch. There was so much great stuff. There was a sale. We're gonna do an unboxing for you though. Guys, that's gonna do it for today. Definitely go check out Wonderful World of Walter. We had so much fun hanging out with them and, and really getting to see the rods and bods here at the mall. Highly recommend that you check it out if yeah. you're here. Also, guys, if you will give this video a big thumbs up and share it. Let's go ahead and ding that notifications bell. That way you're gonna know every time we put up a video or we go live. Yeah, also guys, we're gonna put the link to their channel in the description below. Go check them out. They have so many cool things. Actually, they have a video coming up here fairly soon of their visit to Marceline, Missouri. So if you're a Disney fan, that is definitely a must do. Go check them out. And until next time, get out there, have some fun, and, and we'll, we'll see you on, on the flip, flip side. side.